Tammy Wolf. We're here on day one of IT Expo East 2012 in Miami, Florida. I'm joined today by Seth Bostock of Independence IT. Thanks for joining us, Seth. Thank you for having me, Tammy. So tell me a little bit about the company. Sure. So Independence IT is an information technology services company for okay. VARs, ISVs, and MSPs that work with customers or companies and customers that have a thousand employees or less. Uh, we actually help companies today rapidly transition away from traditional IT to the cloud and currently manage over 300 applications in our environment for companies ranging from one individual user all the way up to some of our largest customers are over a thousand users publicly traded mm -hmm. with 40 plus applications in multiple locations. Great. So I hear that you announced some new partnerships today. We are, yes. Uh, actually, have an announcement going out this morning, a uh, press release. We recently signed a deal with uh, Australian Cloud and Kiwi Cloud over in Australia and New Zealand, and uh, the details of that have been, uh, have been actually hit the wire this morning, so we're very excited to have that new relationship. And uh, these, these folks have actually um, historically been in the cloud space. They were working with another uh, platform, platform provider in the past, and they uh, just weren't having the luck that they were looking for in terms of having applications integrate in, the, in their environment. Mm -hmm. We were able to get, uh, actually they reached out to us, we got our hands on the applications that they were having issues with, we were able to integrate them within 24 hours, and hence they signed a deal with us and are moving all of their, all of their seats and um, clients over to us as well as, as new, uh, um, some new business as well. So very okay. excited about the details. Great, so how do you think that will benefit your company in, in the, this year? Well, I think uh, obviously a good bit of growth. It's, uh, it's a nice win internationally. So um, we're continuing our international expansion right now. Um, our main focus is still domestically looking to, uh, for the right partners uh, dealing with, you know, that are basically ISVs, MSPs, or VARs. But uh, it's, it's, a, it's definitely a nice win. We're really looking forward to working with them. They, uh, they're a great group of people and uh, bring some interesting challenges uh, to our team to solve from a technology perspective, which we've obviously achieved, but it's, uh, it just furthers our, uh, basically furthers our skill set and, and our reach across the world. Awesome, so you said you're gonna be uh, broadening your reach to international um, areas, so are there any countries in specifically that you're gonna be? So other countries, um, well currently we operate in all of North America, so mm -hmm. have some folks in, in Mexico and, and quite a few in Canada and obviously in the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, outside of that, it is Australia, New Zealand. We're actively looking at Europe as we speak and looking to make some partnerships there. But again, my focus for our company is still domestically. There's a lot of work to do here. We want to continue to find the right partners to, to work with here in the States mm -hmm. and continue our expansion. But I think some of the great feedback we've gotten from especially uh, Australian Cloud and Kiwi Cloud is that the tools that we've put together in, for the environment for our channel partners to use they've just been super easy, help them really manage sort of their business and expand. So I think that that's something that, uh, you know, has come out the details in this morning's release and, and we're, we're very happy about that as well. But we've, we've been fortunate to have some other um, significant wins. We were just named um, actually the winner of the Boss Awards by Think Strategies for delivering applications in a virtual okay. environment. So there's, there's been a lot of fun and exciting stuff happening for us. Sounds like it. So what would you say are the biggest trends that you're seeing in your industry? Sure. Uh, I think from our perspective, what we're seeing is what used to be a little scary to an end user from a cloud perspective is not so much anymore. People are understanding yep. that um, data offsite is an okay thing. So the, some of the security concerns that were, were out there are not as prevalent as they used to be. The other thing is that I, I really believe that we're seeing a shift in the way IT is sort of managed, rather than just being so focused on technology, I really think it's being driven as a business itself mm -hmm. at this point. And you're seeing a lot of um, different strategic decisions made. And we see that specifically with what we do in that we're helping uh, leaders of, of the IT basically um, not have to worry about some of the break fix issues. They're able to offload a lot of their IT infrastructure, mm -hmm. work with us to manage that environment, whether it's through the channel or through um, you know, a larger company that we've worked with. And that has allowed them to be more strategic okay. rather than dealing with you know, break-fix issues each day. And, and we've seen a huge change in that shift with a lot of, like I said, a lot of the leaders in the space um, looking, to, looking at it from that perspective and, and liking it from what we see. Sounds great. Well, it sounds like you have a, a lot to look forward to in uh, 2012. So We do, I think. So, yeah. yeah, we're very excited. Great. Well, thanks for joining us, Seth. Thank you very much for having us. Thanks.